Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So, I played in the coin box that Hungrybox hosts usually every week that has about a $2,000 prize pool. Every week, I decided to sign up for one of them. I forget which one this was. It was like a month ago at this point. But uh, I got to top 96, or top 64, I forget which one. It might be top 96 though. I wanted to highlight some of the gameplay that I did with such a complex and difficult character, Hero. So the first thing I should note, I should note, is that you can play Hero in any in any way you want. You can play him aggressively, defensively, offensively, defensively. You can camp with him. You can you can you can do all at once, and it'll all work because Hero benefits. Hero Hero will benefit from any of those playstyles. So what I like to do is I like to play really aggressive, and it works because. Usually what I like to do is run back and get both buffs, run up, and then just hit them for like 50% or 60% because that's how much damage Hero can do sometimes. Or some people like to run back, get spells, throw out Kaboom, Sizzles, projectiles, nonetheless. And uh, it works for them too. Yeah, you can play Hero in any way you want and it'll work out. The exact same way. Down throw forward air usually is a true combo at mid percents, especially against heavies. So it's really easy to get that. I read the I like to read people's jumps with a either a rising aerial or a jab, since jab usually catches uh, jump getups, and forward air usually catches roll, normal get up, get up attack, and jump get up. So you have a lot of options to choose from when you're uh, ledge trapping uh, any character in the game. Also forward at two frames, so it's really broken. Also, you see me go for that. That up B right there, yeah, that up B, true combos into uh, up tilt, it true combos into up smash occasionally, and it true combos into F smash if you get the right uh, positioning for it. But I went for the up B here because up B actually covers, right, I, I believe it covers normal get up, roll get up, and not get up attack, it's just roll get up and normal get up, and jump get up sometimes too. But. Uh, you gotta be, you have to be in the right position to actually hit that. You actually want to be positioned like right where this bus sign is, where this bus stop sign is. You want to be positioned right there, and you can up B, and it'll catch, it'll catch the Bowser, the Bowser rolling right here, and then you can up tilt for free, and or it, it'll catch the normal getup for free. That's how, that's how busted this setup is. That's why this is uh, Hero's best stage. It's what everyone likes to say about you know Town and City and Hero as a whole. I don't think this true comboed. No, it didn't. Because here Bowser would have had to be in front of me. Yeah, make sure that they're... Well, they can be behind you, but you have to be like a little bit closer. A little bit closer than, than, than usual. But the up E has to hit them from when they're in front of you so that it the up tilt can actually hit. Usually the up tilt could hit right here, but I might have been either a little bit too late on the up tilt, and as you can see, or they get sent too far away. But I tried the up smash. But up tilt might have worked, but it, I guess it depends on their DI. When they're DIing out, it doesn't work. Most of the time, at least. This is also really scary for him right now because you want to make sure that once you get psych up, you don't want to just wait. You don't, you don't want to waste it on like jab one or jab two or uh, a pummel or a down tilt. You want to use like an aerial, a smash attack, um, or you can just wait to get oomph and then break their shield with like a dash attack, uh, one of the flame slashes or crackle slashes or. Uh, F smash attack. Yeah, you want to, you want to wait till you want to wait for the perfect opportunity. But you don't want to make it obvious that you're fishing for the kill moves because you're gonna all you're, you're gonna get you're gonna get the buffs eventually. That's how that's how often they come they they pop up. So just make sure that you don't actually like fish. Don't make it obvious that you're fishing for the kill moves. I get bounced here. I don't know why they up smash for some reason. I got lucky with the Hatchet Man, therefore I read their up smash with the Hatchet Man, I guess. Optimal Punch with an F smash, 27%. Now I thought, I thought they were just gonna not do anything. See, what I like to do with Hero is, I like to, like, once I, once I do a, a falling aerial, usually falling there, I'm going to, I'm going to do a rising forward air to catch your jump. And it works, like, 99% of the time. As you can see, caught their jump right there, but I didn't think they are going to air dodge in, I thought they were going to not press a button, so they air dodge, which was the correct option to do. 
against me in particular. Crackle Slash, yeah, that's actually a really good uh, position to be in. You want a menu, like, at any time you're playing Hero, you want to menu, like, right out of their getup attack op their get -up attack range. So that it, because uh, you don't know, they don't know what you can get, and you don't know what you're going to get. And Crackle Slash is, like, one of the best options uh, for ledge trapping, since it hits below the ledge, and it two frames, and they're going to get stage spiked, and then they just die, unless they have a really good mash. But... Crackle Slash covers like almost everything except probably Jump Get Up, I would have to say. But you want a menu like right outside of the Get Up Attack. Get Up. Yeah, Get Up Attack range. Now I do forward air. You can see the forward. Uh, you see. Hold on, let me back up a little bit. Sorry about that. When, once I get Crackle Slash, I usually do a forward air into Buffered Kafriz because by the time the forward air ends, they're already going to be about like 70% out of the, the ice. So I use Kafriz, and by the time, you know, the Kafriz actually ends, they're already out of the ice. And then they get sent flying because of, you know, the Kafriz. So it works out, it works out and it's really good. That's how that's how I make Crackle Slash a good move. <laughs> yeah, you really want to get good with uh, Accelerator here. And plus, it, we we uh, transition to the FD uh, FD portion of Town and City, and Accelerator is incredibly, incredible, incredibly incredible here. As you can see, they can't do anything because look, he air dodge because he was afraid of getting hit by the forward air because my Accelerator movement is just insane. And you can just you, you can jump from like center stage all the way up to here where I am right here. That's how crazy it is. That's why they air dodge so they get, they didn't get hit by my forward air. But I can you can just follow up with an air because it covers pretty much everything except maybe like roll roll away. So I followed up with an air, hit him with a forward air, caught their jump. They couldn't do anything by the way because they're scared of me right now because I'm in advantage and they're in disadvantage and they're getting juggled first off and they're in the air, which is bad for Bowser because all they have is down air or flame breath. But I'll do flame breath in the air, forward air. Can't do much about that. Heroes like he returns into Sonic in the air with kill moves. It's kind of crazy. Try to hit them with the forward air that hits behind. There goes the zoom, flame slash, back air read. Or actually, back air call out because I called it their jump. That's why I always I always do a rising aerial because I know they're going to jump. Half of these players are going to jump because they're scared of. They're the, I don't know, I don't know. What are they scared of? I don't know. But they jump, I catch it with the back air, and you're never gonna expect this. <laughs> and it kills. Like ultra kills. It's crazy. The only noticeable thing I I noticed about the Bowser's different gameplay is that they weren't mashing. They weren't really mashing like the other games. Also, the air dive feed was kind of nice. I knew they were gonna. I knew they. Were, well, actually, that that was the mix up. Down throw up air, up air. They're gonna air dive because they're scared of my nair because I did it last game. Psych. Into tomahawk grab or mix up grab rather. Down throw forward air. Not true. Probably true on heavies. Don't get hit by that. That's that. That's like the the second time this has happened. I think. Or maybe first time. Maybe they maybe they didn't get hit by this first game, but I usually always go for down throw forward into rising forward into Kafriz, and it always works like uh, almost 100% of the time. That's how frequently I get this combo. <clears throat> Nair, XLRL being absolutely just absurdly broken. They can't do anything because you just cover every option that exists, and I want to talk about this real fast. We're gonna highlight this for like five minutes, okay? Look at how it can I can I can I go forward in this a little bit? I can't. Dang, I don't know how. <laughs> you know, we're, we're still gonna highlight this. Okay. I get. I knew they were gonna pick an option out of shield, but I didn't know. I might have misspaced this, but I didn't. I, I didn't know this was gonna happen. They they like jumped over my snooze. I need to look up a snooze hitbox. box. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a snooze hitbox box on screen right now. Did they jump over that? 
there's no way they jumped over this. They don't, Bowser doesn't even jump. He like hops. How did they? How? 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 Explain. Explain right now. Explain. I choose Accelerate here so I can, you know, fall faster and recover or recover faster as a mix-up. And I do drop down B reverse back air to get them off of the ledge. As you can see, he was she was trying to read my roll, but instead I just wanted to get him off the ledge so I could, you know, get back onto stage and get stage control. So I do drop down. B reverse. Let me get it again. Drop down. B reverse right there. Back air, and it hits. And it's just, and it. I got accelerate, so my jumps are higher. Therefore, I land on stage instead of you know having to recover again because I might have not been able to get on stage without accelerate being applied already. Uh, you can combo once you have accelerate. Like the the I forget what I forget what the, <laughs> the saying is. The I forget what the saying is, but the world is in your hands, basically, more or less, when you have Accelerate. You can do anything, and it'll probably work, and if it doesn't work, you just follow up with another move, because Accelerate is insane, and you have, like, you're faster than, like, you're on par with Mithra, and that's kind of insane, we're not gonna get, it, get into that, where Mithra's broken, we already know Mithra's broken. Uh, you can do Frizz into forward air, Frizz into down air, Frizz into up smash, Frizz into run up, I was meant to say, Frizz into run up, forward air, Frizz into run up, back air. You can just crew combo into anything and it'll work like half the time. So that's why you see me going for Frizz's. Well, usually, because they weren't expecting it either. I would assume they weren't expecting it, but they were avoiding it pretty uh, effectively. That's not, that is true there. That is true, but I might have been too far away. Yeah, I was, I was a little bit too far away. You gotta be kind of closer to hit the up smash. They're able to air dodge that. And then they just explode. Broken move, thwack two frames, hits under the stage, has such a big hitbox, kills at any percent you want it to. Broken.